Okay, in this little mini series, I'm going to go through a series of games to look at how many times it is that I lose a game by my own error. Or I lose an advantage by my own error. And try to not do it. I'm not going to try and do it on purpose, um, but just play a normal game and see how many games I actually lose by my own human error. And let's just develop. So we're going to do everything that we know within the answer process and we've covered all, all of the stuff about logical thinking, you know, the creative brain, logical brain, all that sort of stuff. Um, and all the other evaluation tools around finishing the game, you know, rather than baking the game, finishing it. So we've got all the major evaluations underneath our concepts now. So we've ingrained them, but still errors are made. So I'm taking the night because I want to keep it simple. It's not affecting my position at the minute as far as I can see. So I'm going to develop the bishop protecting the pawn. So that doesn't look too much of a trouble. We'll continue with this thought process all the way through each of the games and then have a look at what mistake we've made and why we made it. Were we moving too fast? Did we just do a, a bad calculation? Let's castle because he's got a 2 1 1 here like this, put in force. We'll be looking to bring the bishop here, attacking their bishop, opening up the rook, facing their queen. Obviously, this cheap thing looks like it's going to be taking place as well. As we said, going for the cheapy already. Bring the queen through. Sometimes they forget and they still do it anyway. So we can take the bishop off the board. So, so far, looking okay. Now the knight's got to develop itself to start coming round. Or maybe this way. To somehow get around facing our king, Gary. So he's come with the bishop anyway. Right, okay. Now, what's our best manoeuvre? King is open. Simply moving the queen should not be a problem really, should it? Because he's not targeting anything. Nothing behind. Suppose the knight's coming here, like we said, to come here, then attacking the queen. No, let's go with the pawn. That was a quick move, but it seemed more logical trying to move them move my queen out of the way because I'll have a dancing queen then then we do have an option of pressing onto their queen or pressing onto the um, bishop so I don't think I've done anything too majorly wrong at the minute it might feel uncomfortable but we're covering the answer process and we're protecting our king area from the attacks that the opponent's putting in place so at the moment it doesn't feel too bad I'm still looking for the erroneous moves that I'm going to start making and I don't want to make them because they're really, it's really annoying let's take them off so his bishop probably is going to move because obviously if we it's not going to move Okay. so if we go here and we're attacking the queen Queen will have to stay protecting the um, bishop, so it'll come here. Then, if we attack the bishop again, bishop has nowhere to go, so it'd have to come down here or come here. Yeah, it'd have to go there because then, if our bishop takes, his queen takes, his queen is in our lab, and then he's got the pawn here. And it's got this rook facing down here so that's not going to be too clever if we attack the bishop bishop goes here looking to attack our queen at some stage so attack the queen queen comes here don't really like the position that that ends up in so we do have other pieces that probably need developing so should we start bringing them out dark square bishop 
could attack the bishop first though, couldn't we? Because we're attacking the bishop, behind the bishop, we're also attacking the queen. So I'm actually going to attack, so we're attacking two pieces. So it looks like we'll win a minor piece out of that. Is my position okay? I'm a bit for oh, look at that. Oh, he wins a tempo. Let's attack, because we're still attacking his queen. And let's take here. So the queen then comes down, still protecting the bishop, as we said before. So that's disheveled the position now. And he's got his pieces right in front of our king. He could still do this maneuver, but he's going to get his queen taken. Ah, he's protecting the queen. Our queen could come here. But it's a bit of a there and then there and then he's there. Yeah, okay, let's do that with a check on his king. Queen comes here with a potential check. Rook's got space to come here and attack if the king comes here. But then it's small potatoes, really, it's not major. He's still got his queen hanging around here, he's going to be taking this pawn. Hmm. Oh, he's taking the pawn. So now my rook can't come here. So I'm going to have to come here with my knight. Then he takes this pawn. If he takes that pawn, go with the check. King comes here. Rook comes here with the check. He does take the pawn. Okay, let's see if it works. I don't know if it does or not. Knight's protecting this pawn at the minute. Nothing's protecting the knight. Let's go for that. Then he goes down. Or oh, does he come here? He doesn't want to check on him, so he's probably going to come here, isn't he? And then he's going to win my knight. Yeah. But it's for an exchange, isn't it? Because we would win the rook. Yeah, so he's gone there, so he's um, gone safe. Is there anything else? Uh, he's going to win the knight. Okay, let's grab. I've got an x ray through to his rook. Got place here. Attack him, the king. He's going to. Ooh, he can't hide anyway. Ooh, ooh. He might have to move. He might have to move dead quick. Yeah, I think he has to move his king here first, don't they? So that he can. Ooh, go here. Or something like that. Oh, he's not done that. Maybe his queen's just going to come and defend. Checkmate. Wow. Now that was a horse of a different colour. Nice positional play there. Let's see what it looks like on the engine side though. Probably didn't like anything we did there. Okay, let's um, hop to the trot. Okay, so developed we were looking for mistakes that we were going to make we wanted to focus on not making the mistakes and they started tacking towards our king area so we explained all of this blocked that off and attacked so the gauge bar is working in our favor at the minute so it's fairly comfortable with us that's unusual but hey what can you do we do have the x-ray through with the bishop onto his queen then they attack then we support support and then they attack and that's where we saw the potential for taking our queen to the back and then putting pressure onto their king now it's plus six at this moment in time Ooh, plus 6.6 .6. okay so it's gone up from there they capture it's plus nine now for us and oh it's uh, mating seven for us okay mating six Mating five for us, mating four, and mating one. Brilliant. Okay, so we didn't do anything majorly wrong in that particular game. I think the key thing for me is um, we ironed out the, the um, attack process that the opponent was going for um, towards the king area, understanding the answer process in this particular game. Like I said, I'm going to go for a few more games because I want to have a look at this um, situation where. Um, make it when it if it becomes human error 
and what the error was and could I have prevented that error? Can I try and prevent the error before I actually make the error? Okay, we're back looking at the errors. We want to stop the errors before they implode on me as best possible. Is it possible? Oh, and they're coming with this funky rubbish here. Oh, uh, ordinarily we bring the knight here. It is brave of them doing that. Mm. So what you want to do is sneak your queen in here thinking you, you're getting all happy. But then they just block off here and then your queen is dancing. So he's definitely hot for the trot for attacking this, pot, this pawn here. Mm, let's just attack the pawn, trying to make space for the king to get castled. When they do this sort of opening, they're kind of blitzing out the whole area. So it looks like I'm going to be defending, big style. And just bring this here. Some would say, just take the pawn off the board, but he's just going to drop the pawn here on the net. Well, maybe not now that the pot knight's here. King safety, king safety. Thinking computer evaluations, it just whips this pawn off the board as soon as it gets there. You know, the gambit thing. But now, if we do that now, then he can just drop his pawn here. So I'm going to castle. So that's probably why they do it right at the very beginning. Okay, so he's attacking now. Uh, we should have taken that, shouldn't we? Okay, so that was the error. Although I do like doing this knight and, you know, leaving it there. So I'm going to bring it here because we've got two pieces attacking this pawn. Which are the knights. Normally they come here trying to protect, which obviously it would be protecting, not trying to protect. And this looks nice, but it's not nice because, you know, pawn just drops yeah so they've come and protected this pawn's protected by the knight bishop could come here stopping that protecting that but it's causing me too much trouble because this knight is going to get taken off the board so i'm going to come here and it opens up space because his bishop takes that's really annoying there must be a magic move could go with the check, but like I said, it just drops here. <laughs> yeah, it's an ugly, ugly opening. I shouldn't have put myself in that position. Let's just attack the bishop. Looks like my knight's gone. It's got nowhere to go. It's a damn shame. Could come here, but obviously bishop's gonna take. Go there. Got no support. Got rid of this knight. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 yep so early error we knew that this pawn was bad in a way but i don't think we maneuvered correctly per se okay so he's moved the bishop back <sighs> i'm gonna have to live with the fact the knight's gone i don't want my light knight going if i attack this pawn he's still going to attack our knight anyway isn't he he's going to attack our knight anyway because he wants us to come here and then that gets opened up maybe I'm worrying about nothing really but it's a bit squinchy because the Queen's all set to come in here wants his white square Bishop to get in there all gonna be around my King area but at least we know this so we can try and attempt to block it off when it starts happening so here here Bishop takes pawn opens up so now we know they're coming down. The knight's blocking the queen at the minute. So it may do some fancy movement like this to allow the queen to come and face. So if we get this activated, we could manage in this square. Yeah, he's come down, don't he? Look, yeah, so it's going to go through that process that we said. So we're aware of it. Can we do something about it? I think it's physically possible to do it. So we're ready. Are we able to do it? That's the thing. 
we have to look at it at each stage every time they do a move are we able to do it we take get the king to safety get this opened up we're trying to prevent the queen from coming down into this square here um, knight's going to be all over our king he's going to want to get this activated he's going to want to get his knight activated so there's a lot of pressure already kicking off so we've got to be ready Ooh, okay so we've um, covered off the error process now so all we have to do is just sit and wait and see what actually happens now okay so he's grabbed grabbed let's grab waiting for the big opening the big attacks coming down towards the king area okay so he's attacked now let's bring this bishop here Presently, there's no direct attack done, so which I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. But there's a long way to go yet. Our rook has got this file. It does have these little pawns here. Our knight needs to get back into the game if it's allowed, or else it's going to get trapped. So if you see this, then we need to be moving this because this pawn is going to want to attack it. It's 28 minutes. <laughs> um, so yeah it's a 30 minute game zero increments so we don't need to move fast but I just need to be aware how do they get to the king knight takes do we take with the pawn or do we take with the queen probably feel comfortable taking with the queen because then at least it's a, a bit a major piece in the game rather than stuck on the back also it'll be attacking this pawn as well so it might give them something to think about and we can get maybe some checks on the king and maybe stop it from castling queenside little tiny things like that I do think this knight's coming here though he wants more pieces into the fray she goes there we touch on him and he's not really interested in that so where is he wanting to go? He's not going to go there because he gets taken. But it's a nice position just sitting there. It's attacking with the pawn. Oh, I didn't even put that in my mental ruler decks. So we could bring the bishop here, then go there with a the check on the king. That didn't even factor that in. I was just thinking he's taking. We're going to have a solid base here with the queen. Gonna kingside castle, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Still thinking pressure. I've got no protection around my king. You know the pawns. He's attacking the. He's stopping that, isn't he? Oh my life. Okay. Um. So we need to get activated. I'm gonna push onto this pawn here. The rook maybe can take the bishop if he take the knight if he does take. Am I making them? Because then his queen will drop and attack the rook, so I'm losing tempo. I have to move it back. He's not. He's not. Ooh, oh, damn! I thought I could take it though. This knight's got no protection on. Uh, can't get to it. Bishop can though. I've got two knights there. Could swing in here, but then am I trapped? Am I trapped? In fact, I'm trapped anyway, aren't I? I can't go anywhere. Oh, he's done me a kipper. Oh my gosh. I'm trapped anyway. So I could go here, but then I have no other diagonal. What can attack me? I go there then, does this, which knight can get me? Well, we'll go there for now. I don't think the knights can get me at the minute and then potentially looking for this bishop coming here in fact this knight has got no protection on it so the rook could take if he forgets himself he might think this knight is actually protecting this knight or because he's got the queen there that the queen's protecting both fingers crossed Mm. 
it's gone quiet. I'm holding my breath. seen it. Damn, I'm blessed. Bishop can put a check on the king here. Or it could be, oh it'd be nice if the queen could get there, then it's blocking that king moving. It's going to escape, isn't it? Ah. Oh, we can't even bring this here because the knight's protecting this square. Put a check on the king. Can't even bring this because the bishop's blocking here. So I'm just going to maybe have to do a simple take. Eee, that gum, a simple take. Pawn takes, open up space around the king, but he's going here. But if he goes there, bishop goes here. Bishop. Knight could have gone there with the check. That's the real uh, too slow to the party. Because then the king would have had to go in there. Oh no, magic could go here, couldn't it? So if the knight goes there, the king comes here. And then the knight's got no protection on it. Hmm. That's one of them squinchy squinchy ones, isn't it? Yeah, seen positions like these before where I've been full on with the attack and then suddenly my pieces just started disappearing and then the opponent comes out in an advantage all because the king escapes so I've gone into deep think on this um, it's got plenty of time anyway and there's no check on the king at the minute so he doesn't have to he could move the knight to protect something protect the bishop oh it's mo <laughs> exact moves oh dear so if we go with this knight move here attacking the king obviously he's going to come here it's not, if he goes there that would be ideal because then we'll be able to put a check on but then he moves to the side so he's still escaping <sighs> if we take the bishop take the bishop we're thinking the knight's taking then the knight is actually on the bishop can't do anything at the minute then the knight comes here attacking the king king comes here attacking the knight gets rid of the knight oh, I don't want it getting rid of the knight why is my queen not in a better position mm. could take this pawn with the bishop now on both knights that'll be a nice touch won't it instead of focusing on this area where the king is going to escape at the moment but this bishop is really quite powerful isn't it so if we did come here I think his rook is excuse me if we came here I think the rook is going to come here protecting the knight mind you we'll be losing this 
he'll lose that but he's saved this one that is protecting this here so if we take that and then we could take this again couldn't we yeah go here maybe he moves his knight anyway he might move his knight to attack the bishop might move to attack the bishop we take and got to check on the king so we get that for free I think that might work of some sort I don't think there's any point pressuring the king it's, he's escaping and attacking the knight so it's making it stronger as far as I can see I'm hoping I'm not falling into major mistakes. The bishop can't take, he's got a check through from the queen. Knight can't put a check on our king, that I can see. Oh, do you know what? Oh, his rook can go here. See that massive gap? Oh, he's not actually doing that. Oh, he's got a massive gap there. He can get my he can get the bishop. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take one of the batter quick sharpish which one shall I take this one but then I'm developing his queen down but then the bishop can move and we've got a rook yeah okay so queen takes and then if we take the bishop the rooks on the queen it's not a check on his king but dishevels the queen a bit I think he may come across and get the knight yes yeah, so I think he'll shoot across here Oh, that's all gone wrong. He's, he's got to check on my king. I need to move. Oh, sly. Although I don't think he noticed because he didn't bring the rook there, did he? Brought the queen down. So that was a bad. That was a bad position. I should have looked the full way through. I did. I forgot that the pawns weren't protecting my king. Hmm. It's not looking as rosy now. <coughs> He does take, I'm going to take like I said because the rook's on the queen but the queen can also come here as well <coughs> with a check on the king. He's got to utilise that ante, I think that's going to be the power base and then he gets his rook, well gets his rook here and then he's got a checkmate. Oh man I've given him gold. I suppose I can bring the bishop back here with a check on the on his king. <coughs> <coughs> if he does move the queen. <coughs> Excuse me. It's getting, he's gone for the check on the queen. Let's go here with a check on the queen okay right so do we want to get his um queen off the board somehow then <coughs> he's got <coughs> excuse me he's got this passer and he's going to want to get this rook out into the get into the game as well uh nothing doing there how can i get to his come here like this attacking his rook but that's a bit too obvious isn't it then he just comes behind the queen and is protecting the queen <sighs> nice got a nice position there so obviously it's going to get taken Mm, okay, let's go here. Because then, if the rook does go behind the queen, we can just bring across. Whoa, steady up. Just come here and have a check on the king, maybe. He's 
It's got a knight as well, don't forget. He's attacking the bishop. Uh, if we do that, then we lose the bishop. Can't move the bishop, can I? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to move it. Oh, I'm gonna have to go here. I still lose it anyway because the pawn takes it. Ah, never mind. So he gets it back. And. Let's take. So I think this pawn needs to move to give his king some space so he opens up his rooks. Oh dear me. I think the error was doing the bishop move because that gave space in front of my king and they took the slightest of advantage. Now he's got like a passer here. He's coming down supporting. So he has to move his king so that then we don't get Madjuri's knights protecting there, isn't he? And he's blocking, also making space. Tricky one, tricky one. We are actually plus one. But he has a passer. We have two passers. So I was thinking going here, but he does have like a magic position here, which is attacking the rook. It's also attacking the pawn as well. So we're not going to do that. attack the pawn obviously he pushes it down obviously he's coming for our well not really because the knight's there try to keep it simple it's got the knight coming here attacking the pawn damn he still gets the pawn anyway I tried to avoid the knight fork, but he still gets it. And then he's got to check on the king, my king. So he goes there, uh, we take. In essence, really, I mean, he's going to take because he's got to check on the king. So we move up. Does he lose it? He's lost the tempo, hasn't he? Because he's, we're attacking his rook as well. So I think his rook will take first. Should do anyway. Yeah, I think he loses tempo. If he, do, 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 do. If he comes here, we take. If he goes there, we go here. His knight can't reach our rooks from there. Our king is on his knight. So he would really have to go back to where he came from. And when he does that, we'd be able to take his rook off the board. And then we'd get the other rook as well. That's the calculation I've worked in my head. Fingers crossed, it works in practice. He might come here. I bet that's what he's thinking, isn't it? He's coming there. No, he's going for it. Let's do that. Oh, he circumvented it. I didn't even see it that way, did I? Damn. Knight's protecting. Let's go here. So we've got a passer still. We're still plus one. And... 
backwards that is in the night around or maybe just pushing the pollen up again this rook wants to come here so he's got to check and the king can't move to the side here so good luck to see if he wants to trade the rook off probably get shouted at yeah but he's also attacking this pawn as well so I'm going to have to see whether that happens yeah I think that, that the error was that bishop move I can't stop thinking about it now damn we'll have to have a look at the evaluation on there once an error kicks in, it's really hard. If you, if the player knows what they're doing, they just keep that pressure on, and they never let they never let up. And that's what happened in this game. It was like, oh, I had my key area that I was focusing on, and then I gave them the open file in front of my king, which gave them a win of tempo. Uh, like. No, have to come all the way down here, isn't it? Pin through. King's going to have to get activated. Oh, oh, he's going for the exchange. Anyway, let's do that. Ooh, missed the trick there. Could have had a fork then. It's coming down for these bones. Or is he sacrificing? Yeah, it looks like he's going to sacrifice his knight. Or has he got a fork? No, nope, not yet. It's coming here. No. Nope. He's giving up the knight. Nineteen minutes. Don't need to move so fast. I mean, these can be drawn. These, but just because I've got a knight, doesn't mean I've won anything at all. Where do I think I'm going with my knight? <laughs> uh, I do make myself laugh. Okay, just bring it back down here. Yay, and they've resigned. Wow, that was a, a long game. Oh, let's get to that bishop position. Yeah, never mind celebrating. Let's get back to that bishop position. Oh, they've done a report analysis thing. Um, three inaccuracies for me, two blunders. One inaccuracy for them, two mistakes, one blunder. So they kind of perform. Oh, no, it's still worrying. It's still worrying. I'm going to say <laughs> they outperformed me. And it's finished, so three inaccuracies, three mistakes, five blunders for the opponent, five inaccuracies and seven blunders for me. I still think they look a lot better than me. <laughs> Crikey. Um, what was that? I'm going to the bishop position. Right, let's go through this here now. So it was a sticky wicket. Sticky, sticky. Now it comes across. Oh, look at that. They, they basically, it's plus 3.2. Yeah, horrible opening. Horrible. Said, didn't like the look of it at all. So, really, plus 6 it is now. 
Knights Got No Way, we mentioned all of that about opening up the King Space. Yeah, all that stuff there. Oh my god, it's a. Uh, and then it's gone. Is it plus 0.9 now? So whatever it was that they did. Okay, oh, it's minus, minus 2.7 at the minute. And then it's got to drop to a massive plus somewhere. Okay, so we bring the bishop here. It's not that one, it's that one. Right. So it was minus 4.3. And then us doing that, it went to minus 1.5. All because I forgot that the king didn't have a pawn in front here. I was too busy glorifying that. Oh, I'm going to get one of these. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. Um, yeah, I didn't need to do that. Maybe I should have just stuck with the idea of coming here. Although it meant went down to minus 2.7, but I suppose that's better than what actually happened which was minus 1.5 okay but we're still in the minuses so that's not bad and then they brought the queen down minus 9.6 oh I bet you I missed something big oh I bet I did oh we captured so it's still minus minus 9.6 they captured minus 10 minus 9.5 minus 10 minus 10 still and um, oh we we panicked here thinking it's all gone minus 16 oh I don't like that queen minus 6 so that's 10 points dropped did I have what did what am I missing here minus 16 oh a little bit of a fret on the old checkeroonie Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Because the queen can't actually come and protect that. Can't go there, it gets taken. Oh, damn. Yeah, but doing that, he's still just going to take the pot, bishop, isn't it? That's saying my <laughs> minus nine moves for checkmate. Because, but I am. <laughs> I didn't see that I panic focus so much on losing the bishop uh, I need to open my eyes a bit more so we went for the simple dropped 10 points to minus 6 so it's still minus 6 it's not bad that's functional so we grabbed then they grabbed it's minus 5.9 minus 6 now it is so now we're jostling and it felt safe-ish coming down here we blocked off the attempts of what the opponent was trying to do but then obviously we did get a shock because that wasn't the rhythm that we put in our head them actually taking first so it's down to minus 3.3 now so we've dropped quite a lot of points and it's minus two then it's minus five So this isn't too bad what we're doing at the minute. Just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Minus five, minus sixes. So it's hitting minus sevens now. And minus 54. Yep. Excellent game. So nothing to panic about too much really with the bishop move. Um, we could have found a better move obviously. Um, we should have stuck with maybe the knight move going forward. Couldn't see any other benefits there. And also looking at the bishop when it got stuck anyway, we had a potential attack on their king area, also winning their rook. So there were pluses in the errors. So that was a good thing. And uh, that was a bit of a tense game, finding that ending. But we found it and we're using the answer process, so we're feeling fairly comfortable. It's a bit it's a bit shabby because these were part these were exercises where I was looking at finding my errors this last game obviously highlighted an error um but i wanted to show the really meaty errors that i do make in my games um but them's the apples so i hope you enjoyed this series when you make an error or you think you're going to make an error maybe try and find a better position as you can see i'm not finding the better better positions i'm finding positions 
which I feel comfortable with, that I feel makes me feel a little bit safe. But do your calculations up to the four moves. And when I've done a few of my moves recently, I've only done a two calculation. I've not gone up to the four, which basically looking at basically where I'm going to end up. And especially with the bishop move that we did in this game here, um, I know it wasn't anything major, but it felt major to me because his rook could have come he could have owned that file a bit better than what they did do so i've got to look a little bit further than just one one or two simple moves if you're running out of ideas go and find some more ideas go for a swim go for a shower go for a bath clean your hands rinse out your eyes come back and find some better ideas Okay, so we're here looking at how these errors occur. In fact, looking at when the errors occur and see whether or not we can beat the error to the punch and not make the error. Find something better. Spring the queen back. Okay, so this is all usual stuff. And just go here. This is usual depends on what the opponent does next which makes it unusual captures okay let's capture let's capture let's put a check on the king simple just keeping it simple i'm not over regulating anything he's got this knight supporting we could just take the bishop off and take the knight off simple and he's on a dark square let's castle shall we keep it safe it's got a highly elevated pawn he's gone to a white square now this pawn is just going to come and support it let's just develop the knight attacking the pawn and let's bring the bishop through now attacking the king so he's staying away we could take the knight uh, just develop a piece seems right so he's moved his knight attacking our bishop um was that the mistake no just keep going just bring the bishop back now We've already disturbed the king, so that's a plus in my eyes. So if we go and attack the king with a check, he's going to double our pawns. Or oh, we don't have to allow them that because we could bring the knight here and win the bishop. Does he come for our rook? And they've resigned. And that's a 22-16, dude. They've asked for a rematch. Um, I'm looking at the evaluation. I think we, we either got very lucky and we surprised them with our attack. Either way, the answer process worked on that occasion. Let's have a look at the analysis. Okay. Let's look at the beginning look from the start didn't look to be in too much trouble even from the start but now we're sitting back and look um, remembering it looked fairly straightforward so bringing the knight through we were looking for any errors that we potentially could make let's have a look at what the eval bar is saying doesn't like that opening really that we've done it's giving white more advantage but i'm comfortable with it i've been practicing these types of openings for many many moons now based from the answer process anyway so then the push down here and i got this move from the evaluation of my games um basically the computer kept on pushing this move and i'm like going what do you mean pushing that move i mean it's just giving up a pawn for nothing but it is actually quite interesting there's only been i think two games where they've actually taken the pawn usually they push the pawn down and then you push this pawn here and then they get a little bit squinchy because all they're doing is pushing the pawn and they're not developing any pieces 
So I was surprised that they actually took, but it's still showing um, white as 0 0.8 at the minute. And then from that moment where they took with the night, it was minus 0 0.6. I did not expect them to take with the night at all. Ordinary practice would be for them to take with the king really. And it's um, plus 0 0.04. Nothing big, but you know. It's better than being minus 0 0.6, I suppose. Because now we can grab the pawn here. So that looked a little bit odd, but the person was, what is it, 20, 22 16. So I wouldn't have expected them to have made any major mistakes per se. So I'm thinking of falling into a trap. So they bring their knight out, but we're focused on the answer process, which is putting pressure on the king or the king area and simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically i didn't really see any problems taking there and then just removing the knight and now the king is totally disheveled and it's minus 1.1 it's nothing big but it's um it's still a minus which is good for us so now we're constantly just putting checks on the king and now we're looking to put more pressure on the king area just bringing the bishop back now we can press on the king minus two here and then they've gone to this magical square they did have the options like i said of moving here so in essence um this 22 16 player fell into the same thing as what i was trying to look at which was the errors you know what when these errors occur how, how do they occur and can i stop them from actually happening so i'm really pleased with that game actually i mean it's 20, 20 22 16 and it's not even got a question mark on it either anyway we move on to the next game i want to just practice a few more games i think we've got lucky in the ones that i'm doing the examples on now um, so i'm looking for one that's going to really you know push this error situation because it's so annoying i think sometimes so maybe when i'm playing those types of games where i'm making errors maybe i'm not putting my full four percent my full concentration in but even still i want to still be able to bring my best game to the table even if i'm not fully fully concentrating 